I grew up on a dairy farm and I knew I didn't want to milk cows. In 1980, uh, I went to a, a conference where they talked about making plants from bits and pieces. And it was the introduction to, for me, for, into tissue culture. And by November of that year, we had a, a, a pilot lab started. We're probably one of five labs in the country that do for strawberries and raspberries. Strawberries are subject, just like raspberries and blackberries, to all the different viruses. The important part of what tissue culture brings to the propagation is you have a control of your stock house so you can control the viruses. It all begins where we have our stock plants. And, and everything in that section of the greenhouse has been virus tested. We know it's clean. With strawberries, it's taking the meristemic tissue out of the runner tip. You take it out and then you put it on growing medium inside of a jar where that little tissue will then grow into a plantlet. So they're kept in the growth room of the lab. There's no soil. It's all a, a liquid or a gel. In, in that liquid is all the growing requirements, nutrients, hormones, growth regulators that you need to grow plants. Every three to four weeks, those plants are taken out. They're, they're divided to make them from the plants that they made, and then more are made. That whole, that whole concept in, in the propagation of the plants has probably has allowed us to stay in business and, and maintain our competitiveness on growing quality. And these greenhouses are the facilities you need to do the growth of our plug business. Right now, our customers in California are planting. We have customers up and down the East Coast, into the Midwest, up into Quebec and Ontario, Canada, um, and we even ship plants into Mexico. We're a supplier of the Dole Berry raspberries. So raspberries that you saw the Dole label on at this point would be likely the plants originated at nurse farms. It is a very positive outlook for berry plant, for berries. Berries are very good for you. Uh, they not only taste good, but they have all of the uh, antioxidants, the phytochemicals that battle cancer and other diseases. I think we presume that this could be an important step for us to take to be competitive in our quality and with all the science to do it better.